Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I will show you how to make your own battery using charcoal and an aluminum. Okay, this is a rectangular aluminum and I cut this 3 inches of height. And let's start making a battery. First thing you need to do is to cross the charcoal. Okay, then I'm going to put this inside the blender. Okay, because we're going to turn this into powder. Now we're going to make a binder. This is a cassava starch. Okay, just not too much. Okay, I just uh, add maybe two tablespoons of starch. Then add a little bit of water. Just a little bit. Okay. Maybe a hundred ml. Then the powder charcoal. Oh my god. This is messy for the sake of experiment. Okay, now I'm transferring the blended charcoal into this uh, pot. Then going to uh, press this uh, blended charcoal into this uh, rectangular aluminum. Now we need to use a piece of wood and the size is one by two inches then hammer the wood and check this out okay see that Now we're going to uh, let it dry in the sun for one day. Okay? Don't skip the video. Finish this video. Because we're going to make a battery using charcoal. Okay. 
and here is the sun dried uh, charcoal now let's make the battery let's go okay guys now here is what I'm going to do I'm going to uh, insert this uh, sun dried charcoal into this aluminum uh, tube or rectangular tube but before that I'm going to place a separator between the aluminum and the charcoal using this face mask let me just uh, cut the edges using a separator is to prevent touching each other to avoid a short circuit okay face mask then place inside just like that then the charcoal Hold on a second, guys. Uh, it's a little bit tricky but mm, I know it will fit inside there you go oops yeah just press slowly there you go it's better brittle okay now going to put inside this container And I have a graphite rod here that comes from an old AA battery. Insert the graphite. There you go. Now, aluminum is the negative and the graphite rod is the positive. Now, I'm going to pour seawater. Or you can use salt water. At this time, this is seawater. Now I'm going to test the voltage output and oh. here's my multimeter. DC okay. negative and positive Oy. no lights oh, there's the light there you go we got 0.86 volts are you seeing this guys I'm against the light sorry for that so we got 0.87 oops Point eighty seven volts DC okay so it's a success now wait for my next video because i'm going to make more of this cell and connect it in series okay thank you for watching everyone and i will see you soon thank you wait for my next video guys